After recent events, even the title of this video seems like a joke. For those of you who haven't been watching Security Talk, Avast has acquired AVG. So now they're technically just one company. But since this is the time of the union, I decided it would be interesting to do a detection ratio test to see how the engines stand as of now. This is Leo, and you are watching the PC Security Channel. Let's start with the vast. First of all, we're going to show you that the product is up to date and that detection of PUPs is enabled for the scan. Now it's time to check on our malware. So we've got 1,269 items. All of these are fresh from the malware factory. The dates range from somewhere between one week old to just uh, a day old. And now we're going to do the usual context menu scan and let's see how many of these Avast can detect and remove. We are going to select delete for all threats. And now it's time to check out the detection ratio after verifying that Avast does not find any more threats. It looks like we have five items left over, which translates to a detection ratio of 99.6%. Now it's time for AVG. Once again, we'll show you that detection of PUPs is enabled and that the product is fully up to date. We have the same malware folder with our good old friends here as well. Now we're going to do a right click scan with AVG and let's see what it can find and remove. Keep in mind the AVG scanner removal process is much slower than a vast. But here's the big question. How's the detection ratio? Is it better or worse? It turns out AVG actually left 46 items, which translates to a detection ratio of 96.4%. So there you go. Avast performs uh, quite a bit better when it comes to detection. It will be interesting to see what happens, how things turn out in the future with Avast now running both these products. So that's going to be it for this video. A big thanks to Joey for helping me perform this test. And thank you all for watching. Do comment down below what are your thoughts on this big development in the security industry. Don't forget to like the video if you did and subscribe to the PC Security channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.